Hello, and welcome to another episode on the Key Factor Community YouTube channel. I'm Sven, and today we're going to look at using a YubiKey to store your admin credentials for accessing the EGBCA admin web or the RA web. So let's hop into the tutorial and get started. So we're gonna be following along on the docs we did online on the doc.primekey.com for using a YubiKey with OpenSC and the YubiKey Manager. And we're gonna be doing this on a Mac to actually show you installing these pieces on the Mac and setting it all up. So we'll hop over to GitHub here where we're going to download the latest OpenSC and then we'll download this DMG. And then when that comes down, we're going to install that onto the Mac here. Let's go open that up and drag the window over. There we go. And we'll click on that and try to install it. And oops, all right, we don't trust it. So what do we do? Let's go into click OK. Then we'll go over to the system settings and we'll allow it to run in here. So we'll do the open anyway option. And then we'll authenticate. I'll use my fingerprint that you can't quite see. And then now we'll click the open button and close the system tools there. And we can begin the install. So we'll click the continue and then the install. It goes, we'll authenticate again using the fingerprint. I'm just gonna write this in and it does install. Okay, we'll click close, close. All right, and then yes, we're gonna throw it away because we don't care and move to trash. There we go. And then next, we need to go download the Yubi Manager. So we'll go over to the Yubico website to download this and we'll grab the Mac OS download. So that downloads and then we can click on the DMG to mount that to install. And this is the installer for this guy. So we'll click continue, install, and then fingerprint again to authenticate. All right, we got that. We'll click close and then we're going to move it to trash. And now that we've got these two parts installed, we can go and register the OpenSC driver in Firefox. So we'll go to About Preferences, type in Security, or close enough to it, and we'll click on Security Devices. And then we're going to go to Load, and we'll type in OpenSC over here. Oop, Command A there, OpenSC. And then we're going to browse to the driver location. And we should note that you can also use the OpenSC installed with Brew too, but the path will be slightly different. And then we'll select the OpenSC lib.so one or the OpenSC pkcs11.so. Open that and then we'll click OK. And then OK again to close this window now that we see it's there. All right, now that that is all set, now we can go and configure our Yubico. So we'll close these two tabs. And now we're really on the step one of create the Yubico key pair. And so to do this, we open the Yubico manager. We're going to go to applications, PIV, and we'll click on the management first. Let's set our pin. So we'll just do use the default pin and change the pin to foo123 since this is a test and community video, and then foo123 again. And we'll do change pin. Then the next one we're going to do is reset the puck. So we'll go to use default. And then for this one, I just did the foo123 and then foo123 again. We'll change pin or change the puck in that case. And then the management key. So we'll do use default. But then here, let's select the AES256, generate. And then we're going to copy this key down and we'll open up a text file here. So I've got sublime text and I'm going to drag the window over to the other screen here. And then we'll paste that key into the text file. So this is a really important key. You absolutely don't want to lose this one. So make sure you put it in a password safe because it's needed quite a bit when we're doing some of the parts of putting the certs on this. So then we can click finish. Now that we've got that recorded and we'll go back to the main PIV part here and we'll go to certificates now. And then we're going to use the authentication slot and we're going to use a CSR and then we'll select the P256 option, so we'll do next, and then we can change the subject to, let's do something like administrator, international PKI man of mystery, do something fun. 
but you know, obviously this would be your username credential you'd want to use within the PKI. Maybe not something as fun as this, but this is a fun video, so we can keep it fun. All right, we'll do next. And then we're going to generate the CSR now and it'll generate a key too. So we click the generate button and it's going to prompt us for where we want to save it. So we'll save it to our downloads directory, give it a nice name there. And then we get that management key. So let's go back over to the text file and copy and paste that and then paste it in there and then click okay. And then we put in the pin now. So the foo one, two, three, and then we'll click okay. Now we've got key generated CSR. Let's hop over to admin web. And then we're going to look at the end entity profiles. And we'll go over to the RA administrator and we're going to add the my TLS, or there we go, the TLS client profile. And we'll add that into this one as well. And then we'll also allow the my sub CA to this end entity profile too. That's because we're going to use elliptic curve and not RSA. Now we'll go to RA web, we'll do make new request, and we're gonna select the RA administrator. Then we'll select our TLS client profile and do the option to provide by user. We'll click browse to grab my CSR that we generated from the UB key, click open. And now we can go down and copy the common name because I'll just use that for the same as the username. So grab that guy, command C and then command V to paste that in since we're on the Mac. And then we'll go down and download the PEM certificate after we look and see that it's issued with the ECCA that we did. So we'll download PEM. And now we're going to go back over to our YubiKeo manager and we're going to go to the import option. So we'll click that and then we'll select our PEM file now for our certificate we got issued. And then we need that management key again. So we're gonna select that and then paste it in here and click okay. And now we have our certificate installed. So with that installed, now we need to go back to EGBCA and we need to go grab the serial number for the admin entity. So let's hop back over here and go up to the search. And then we'll look for certificate and we'll type in the admin. And there we go. It's the first one it looks like. So we'll go over there and do view, and then we'll copy the serial number now. And then we'll hop back over to the admin web and let's go to the roles and access rules and then super administrator. And then we'll do the serial number option, my sub CA. Oops, wrong one. There we go, my sub CA. And we're gonna paste that in and do add. And there we go. So it lines up with the certificate since it sees it in the database. And now let's copy the URL and we will open up a private browsing tab so we can authenticate with the UB key. So we'll open the private window and paste that in. And now in the drop down list, we'll see the bottom one, the administrator, international PKI man of mystery. We click okay. Oop, we're getting prompted for our pin on the UB key. So the foo one, two, three, okay. And then we're logged in. So this is how we can easily store our credentials on the UB key. And that wraps up our video. So it's that easy to be able to use the UB key installing the OpenSC and the UB tool manager on a Mac to install. So one thing I can note too, is I did try with RSA and I was not able to get that working with the UB key on the Mac. We were getting some kind of TLS checksum issue. Not really sure what that was about. And I didn't have enough time to look at it, but I was thrilled that I got it working with the elliptic curve. So now you can easily go through and secure your credentials on a YubiKey, and I hope you start doing that for all your EGBC deployments in production. All right, guys, have a good day. Take care.